untrustworthy, loss of respect, and loss of dignity. A home not fit for children, the disgrace of marriage. I rejoice in knowing this cycle has come to an end. I grew up in a home that gave all of the wrong impressions on how to be a good human being and having a healthy marriage. To quote one of my favorite books, a child called it, childhood should be carefree, playing in the sun, not living in a nightmare in the darkness of the soul. My father was abusive, cruel, and disgraceful. My mother was revengeful, obsessive, and shameful. My parents got a divorce early. However, their relationship has fluctuated probably before marriage and even to this day. The gruesome scenes of violence at home growing up influenced me to be more like Christ and to have a godly marriage in the near future with no intention of divorce. Unfortunately, not all that grew up with poor examples of human beings and marriage realize that they have the choice to be better. The ones that do know this do not always take that route because it's easier to be who they already know how to be, even if that means a worse life. My eldest brother is currently going through a separation with his wife because he possesses the attributes of our father and he chose that path. As I have stated already, my fiance and I are attending a course with the church to have a godly marriage in the future. And honestly, my fiance's biological parents were similar to mine. In the end, it is an individual's choice to have a healthy relationship or to have an unhealthy relationship. Put off your old self and be made new in the attributes of your mind. To put on new self, be righteous and holy. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24.